Hello, this is Eddie Hood at Ignite Spot Accounting. I'm one of the uh, founders of the company here, and in this video, we're going to show you how to create the budget to actual report in QuickBooks, how to memorize that so that you can get to it easily, and how to have custom settings so that it's more useful to you and your company. Uh, once you've got the budget set up in uh, in your Excel spreadsheet with the Ignite Spot coaching tool, and you've also got that imported into the uh, QuickBooks file like we've shown you in previous videos, you're going to want to be able to see how you're doing compared to your budget. In order to do that, you'll go to Reports, come down to Budgets and Forecasts, and then you'll go to Budget versus Actual. And just go ahead and click through into the report that you've set up. And this is what you get by default. You get pretty much every month of the year, and it will have the month, the budget for that month, whether you're over or under by a dollar figure and then also by a percentage and so this is a pretty long report because it's got four columns for every month you can't print this out you can't really analyze it super well uh, it's nice to have but what I would do instead is click on customize report and this will give you a box here where you can go in and select just the current uh, month and if you hit OK what it will do is it will show the current month that you're in and it will show the actual figures as they come through the budget, now we don't have real budget figures in here because we haven't entered our budget, but had you done that, you would see real budget figures here. Uh, it's got uh, some basic you know, data entry stuff in here. And then, uh, again, you're over or under for dollar figure and then percentage-wise. So once you get your budget in, you can look at it month by month, and you can print this out on a single sheet of paper. You can also collapse it, and in QuickBooks, what it, what it means to collapse something is you've got these parent accounts with all of the sub-accounts under them. If I click Collapse, it just squishes everything up into a really nice kind of compact report that you can look at and see how you're doing by departments or, or however you set up the report. So you don't want to have to rebuild this thing every time. You want to be able to memorize it. So if you go over to Reports and you go to Memorized Reports and you go to Memorized Report List, this is a list of the grouping of reports that you can have. What you'll want to do, and, and this is what we do at Ignite Spot, go down to Memorized Reports and click a new group. And we typically put Ignite Spot Accounting Reports. Put a space there. Okay. Now I have a group here, and it doesn't have any reports under it. You, you, you can just see the, the title of the, uh, the group. So now if I come over to here, and if I, I can either click uh, the Memorize button here, or I can do Control-M. Either way, what it's going to do is memorize this report. And it gives me a little window over here. And it asks me to name this. And profit and loss budget versus actual is fine. I'm going to save this in a report group, though. And I'm going to throw it in the Ignite Spot Accounting Reports and hit OK. So now, whenever I'm in QuickBooks, if I just want to see how I'm doing budget to actual, I can go to my reports, memorize reports, and I can come down here to the Ignite Spot Accounting Reports and see my budget versus actual. And I don't have to rebuild the thing every time. It will just be there the way that I have it set up. This is in its collapsed uh, view here. I can expand it out again if I want, but since I memorized it that way, that's how it will come to me uh, when I pull the report. And that's it. Thanks for watching.